A heartbroken community taking a moment to come together in a show of strength. Hundreds filling the football stadium at Cienega High School tonight for a candlelight vigil after a series of tragedies in Vail. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Guy Ashley and I'm Stella Inger. Six students in the Vail Unified School District died this school year. Most recently, a 13 year old girl was found dead just hours after she was reported missing. Vail is described as a tight knit community and that was evident tonight. Nine on your sides, Whitney Clark is there. Well, right now we're near Marianne Cleveland Way and Steve Street, where 13 year old Jaden Gloom was found last week. This is where also friends and community members have built this memorial. There are notes and stuffed animals, and now there are glow sticks from earlier this evening at the vigil. Now, while there remain unanswered questions about her death, tonight was about honoring Jaden's life. With those glow sticks in hand, families walked from Old Vale Middle School, where Jaden Aiden was a seventh grader to Sienega for the vigil. Six students in the district died this school year. The vigil was organized by local faith leaders and the district who saw what a huge impact the recent loss had on the community. Whenever something like this happens, it's just as a mother, you just feel like what, what would I feel like is every mother's worst nightmare. And so we just want to show our love and our support. Next week is graduation, so organizers really wanted to take the opportunity now this week to bring people together. Also recognized were the two district uh, school former district employees who lost their homes in the Mulberry Fire. From Vale, for now, I'll send it back to you. Whitney, thank you. Board of